Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MacTube. It's me, Deepak George, and it is lesson number two in less than 20 minutes. In the first video, we learned about the concepts behind differentiation. I told you how we model real life scenarios into function and functions into graph, but graphing is a little bit tough, so we use differentiation. And differentiation means nothing but the gradient of the tangent, the slope of the tangent. And by using the derivatives, we can predict the behavior of a function. Anyway, in this video, my aim is to remind you what you learned in plus one and plus two. Because we have like four applications in your first semester that is limits and then uh, Taylor series and Maclaurin series and then asymptotes and radius of curvature and if you want to do those topics successfully then you should be very good with all the differentiation techniques that you learned in class 11 and class 12 and that will be our aim in this video and in the next video and once you are really good with the basic differentiation technique we will go on to applications that is a pure engineering topic okay the first thing ah by the way please do support us and you can tell your friends about this channel and you can tell the friends about our website and please do put comments so that I know what exactly do you want. Let's continue with the topic. The first thing you have to do is you have to be very, 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 very good with the differentiation formulae. I'm sure some of you know all the formulae really good. Others, please copy down the formulae. You can pause the video or take a screenshot, but I want you to take a paper or a notebook or a note copy and copy all the formulae into your notebook because only if you use pen and paper you will be able to grasp mathematics okay anyway you should be very good with all the formulae you learned the derivation long back in your class 11 so no need of the derivation now it is just a tool and you have to understand derivative means gradient of the tangent or you can imagine dy by dx to be the rate of change of y with respect to x we are able to understand how the function is moving when there is a small change in the input anyway there are 18 formulae and I want you to be very, very, very good with the formulae. Okay. And we have that product rule, quotient rule, etc. You can pause the video and write all the formulae. Uh, I have kept one special formula that is um, the extended product rule. You might have learned u into v. I have kept u into v into w. It's very simple. You differentiate the first one, copy the other ones. Differentiate the middle one, copy the other two. Differentiate the last one, copy the other two. Anyway, let's start with something very simple. Suppose they give you a function. By the way, never forget, functions come from real life models. Because not in mathematics, but when you apply mathematics in your engineering subject, you have to realize that. So, we have a function 3 into x power 4 plus 4 into log x plus 7 times tan x plus 6. This is a model of some real life scenario that I don't care as a mathematician but later you had to analyze things like that 
Anyway, I want to find dy by dx. Because remember, mathematics is a tool. So I want to find dy by dx. I think you saw the formula sheet. Tell me, how do you differentiate constant multiplied by function? Very simple. You keep the constant as such and differentiate the function. You keep the constant as such and differentiate the function. So the answer will be 3 multiplied by 4 x to the power 3 plus 4 multiplied by 1 by x plus 7 multiplied by what is the derivative of tan x? Check it. I think you wrote it in your notebook. Yeah, 6 squared x plus ah, now we have a constant alone. If you have a constant term, the derivative will vanish. And mathematically, vanish means becoming zero. That's it. Now you simplify 3 into 4, 12, etc, etc, etc. That's your job. Now, the second question. Suppose they give you something like the fifth root of x plus 4 into cos x plus a to the power b. <laughs> now, there are three terms here. How many terms are there? Three terms. The first thing you have to check is are you able to differentiate each and every term? No. I have a standard formula for root x. I'll show you. I'll show you that document. Look at this. I have a standard formula for square root of x. What's the derivative of root x? 1 by 2 root x. But I don't have a formula for fifth root of x. So what I do is, I will convert the given function into x to the power 1 by 5. Long, long back, you learned something called loss of indices. And you have learned about exponents. And in loss of exponents, you learned that nth power of x is x to the power 1 by n. So remember, when you are not able to differentiate each and every term, the first thing you do is a little bit of repair work. Plus, I know how to differentiate it, so I will write it as such. Plus a to the power b. Now, dy by dx will be ah, x power n. What is the derivative of x power n? By the way, I have to tell you something, something very, very important. When you have x to the power n, you should remember it represents a polynomial. And when you have a to the power x, you have to remember it represents an exponential function. If you have, Because a represents a constant. In mathematics, the letters a, b, c up to l, m, n are treated as constants unless otherwise mentioned. Now, the difference between x power 3 and 3 power x is this is a polynomial function and this is an exponential function. Anyway, apply the formula. Uh, so, you get 1 by 5 x to the power 1 by 5 minus 1. How do you differentiate constant multiplied by function? Keep the constant differentiate the function. I hope you remember the formula is minus sine x. Wait a minute. A is a constant. B is a constant. So this is a constant. And if you have a constant term, what will be the derivative? Zero. Now, by the way, don't leave your answer like this. You have to simplify. Use a calculator or use basic arithmetic, but you have to simplify. Okay, now, now comes y is equal to x square into sin x. Now look at this. 
in question number 1 and in question number 2 we were separating the function with the help of plus and minus anyway I didn't use minus and when you have terms e plus like what you call term means separated by plus or minus term means separated by plus or minus but here we have two functions which is connected by a product so here we are going to use the product rule u into v I showed you the formula it will be u v dash plus v u dash so write dy by dx equal to by the way never write equal to equal to equal to directly the function and derivative are not same function is a different graph and this gives you the tangent at the required points anyway what is u here x square differentiate the second one plus right sin x and differentiate the first one it is so easy you write the first function but the derivative of the second plus the second function and the derivative of the first once more I am repeating don't leave your answer like this you have to show some mathematical manners so you write it like this and then something is common here take it common etc etc that is your job now once more you try this yourself uh, can you please comment what is the derivative of tan inverse x please put some comments so that I know you are all watching and are you going to apply u into v rule and if you are ready with the answer, you can put in the comments below. Ah, it is u multiplied by v. By the way, never get confused with constant multiplied by function and function multiplied by function. Here what we do is, we keep the constant and differentiate it. And here what we do, we apply product rule. What do we apply? We apply product rule. So dy by dx equal to how do you apply product rule? Write the first function. Now tell me what is the derivative of tan inverse x? Now put a big plus. Now do it in reverse. Write the second function. Come on, tell me what is the derivative of other 2x. But once more I am warning you, don't leave it like this. Simplify. This becomes 1 and the next one becomes 2x multiplied by tan inverse x. I will give you a question. x square divided by 1 plus x square. Obvious, obvious. You have to apply u by v. What will you apply here? u by v. I think you already saw u by v rule. Important thing is you start with v. If you write v, you differentiate the other and minus u v dash by v squared. Uh, it's kind of like straightforward. So let's do it. Denominator times derivative of numerator minus numerator times derivative of denominator the whole divided by denominator squared now as I told you before this is the answer but you have to learn to simplify a little bit can you see something is common here what is common yeah 2 into x now take the common factor so you get 2x divided by 1 plus x square, the whole square. Once more I will repeat, 
this is something you learned in class 11 but we need each and every technique that you learned in class 11 and if you are not or if you were not that good in differentiation and integration I'll put it like this take your class 11 or class 12 textbook and learn differentiation right now learn integration right now spend 5 to 10 days to do that revision because engineering means you need a lot of integration and differentiation in mathematics and in your applied subject okay now I'll give you one question for you to practice tan x plus 4 divided by 1 plus log x try to work out this question and I'll wind up the video right now and I'll be back with the next video and in the next video we will learn something very important that is called function of a function or chain function and we will cover one more topic in the same video that is implicit functions so I want you to be very good with the differentiation part the basic differentiation part right now we learn how to differentiate a function separated by plus separated by minus and constant multiplied by function and of course the famous product rule and quotient rule but you take any book that you like and practice a lot lot of similar questions like this so we'll meet again so till then my friends bye